this earring is important to the plot, Neil. It is vital that we recover it. Of course, because without it, we're not going to get our end off. Oh, no, we get our end off anyway. Oh, deadly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Stacey, Stacey's a hardy lass. Like, she doesn't let a little thing like an earring go missing, get, get in the way of a good time, you know? <laughs> She's not going to let that derail the love train, yeah? Nope. As you can see, well, I love Volcano, as you can see there. I'm not sure why Sierra decided the mushroom cloud was the best way of expressing love, but dude, I'm, I'm here for it. It's fine. A multicolored mushroom cloud. Well, that's what makes it fun. Gay. Jesus Christ. Reluctant. They're really making you work for this. Absolutely. <laughs> you think so? My, my, my. Eye. God, it's just such a middle-aged programmer like way of doing things. Like five cases in the bed, job done. Three kids. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'd love to like do like a Dublin uh, ver like mod of these games where like that instead of just having that big like romantic novel bullshit, you just go, you got your hole. <laughs> go on the bike. <laughs> Here's the lads now. Huh? We're gonna know. Huh? So we, she left us a note, apparently. I, I, I thought we were the ones supposed to like skip out before they woke up. Well, it's poor place. Not. Yeah, true. Urgent business to tend to and must leave. <laughs> That's not convoluted at all. No, not complicated at all. So, and will absolutely not be referenced further on in the game whatsoever. Not at all. Um, in fact, this is like, again, this is just literally just a throwaway woman that was thrown into a scene for our benefit. Um, mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to get like drafted in now in a minute. But yeah, no. That guy's probably got sunstroke. He's probably dead. That's probably dead. Yeah, I think he is actually dead. Still there. Yeah. I'm surprised he just wasn't like a like a charred corpse. Like yeah, just with the crack. Like. like a bucket of cold water on him, he'd fucking explode like a... He fizz like fucking uh, uh, like potassium. It's like, so <laughs> flames. Like you know when you throw water onto a fucking chip pan, chip yes. pan oil fire, or something like that. <laughs> just flash foil it in the water that gets to him. I love that. That's That'd be great. Tide doesn't come in anymore. It'll burn every house down. <laughs> this is how wildfires start, apparently. Just one <laughs> really greasy guy invading. So we're looking for an earring, right? And the yeah, way it works uh, you is can see that glistening little uh, pixel. Hmm. Here's the thing about that. It only glistens when you're close to it. When you see it. So you could be like walking around the beach and then suddenly you see the, gl the, the glint and then you pick it up. At the end, you have to be in the right area. All the while, cheerful. There we go. Yes. Like we can tell it's there. Take it. Give it. Get. There we go. And sure enough, it's an earring. Now, I'm sure you'll be wondering, why on earth does this earring have anything to do with the plot? The earring it's is hollow. It's opened and it's hollow. <gasps> mercy, mercy. Where the fuck? Uh, apparently, they got the com their, um, their like dialogue from like 80s like professional wrestling commentary like Vince McMahon going mercy mercy this woman is a spy oh we'll see what happens next week folks <laughs> under coveration but for whom well <laughs> we may never know okay this is the, literally the only indication that there's some sort of spy shit happening that's it it's like oh we we, we, we had sex with a woman that happened that could be a double agent oh well I wonder if there's any movies based off this. Can't think of any. <laughs> Nothing, nothing's coming to mind at all. No. Not even a successful movie franchise that's worked from generations about this exact same plot point. No, nothing's coming to mind at all. <laughs> it's just a completely original adventure from Sierra. Well done, lads. He's funny. He's funny broke down. Oh, there she is again. Fucking, she's oh. dodgy. I don't trust her. I just don't trust her. Lord Dodge. That woman's after you. Just keep walking past you. I was like, 
Why do you keep walking laps around the island just so you can bump into us? It's very, very sus. There's the uh, volleyball court where we saved a woman's life and got no thanks for it. You know, all the day's work oh, for John Wesley. You get to make out with that girl. Oh, fucking hell. I know. Come on, man. This isn't Ledger Suit Larry. Like, John Wesley picks and chooses his relationships, you know? <laughs> Because you've picked a more stiffer name than John Westland, by the way. John Westland? No, it's like, see, because it's Johnny Westland. Ah. So you can even further Americanize it. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. It's a good thing they probably didn't call him Jack, I guess. Jack Westland in. <laughs> Code name. Iceman. Yeah, that, that's for the next game when he's uh, Jack Whiteman. Oh, yes, of course. Um there was meant to be a sequel to this, but it was cancelled. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think it was another, like, it was a similar name to Iceman. I can't remember what it was. Codename something. And, uh, yeah, it just, it just didn't, this one somehow just didn't take off. I wonder is it because of the, like, literal, like, 12-week correspondence course you have to do to get through the fucking game, perhaps. Yeah, the, the code, it was meant, the whole code name was meant to be the series, like, code name something else. I think. Yes. Iceman. Oh, fuck. No, the second one was meant to be Phoenix. Phoenix, thank you. I remember now. Code name Phoenix. Name Phoenix. Mm. But because wonder... this game was such fucking garbage. Um, yeah, it was meant to be like a franchise, a code name franchise. Yeah. The weird thing is, like, this like this isn't inherently a bad idea. Like to have this kind of like, you know, interesting, intricate, like spy stuff, like um, and perhaps some action thrown in eventually. But it just the execution was just really, really poor. Like the good idea is good. It just you just did it wrong. You, you like ideally with a sequel, you could have like right righted the wrongs, but that's not how sequels work. Like you have to have been successful first in order to get a second. So, so this is our hook, by the way. See that we've now um we've had we've had the sex, therefore this this uh, vacation has been successful. We move back to our <laughs> move back to Mission Central. Yes, quite literally. So yes, and um, me just getting acquainted with the notion that there there's a back door and front door, ladies. But um, <laughs> it's a matter of uh, picking the right one, and knowing where to go. This is me genuinely just trying to find, can I look into a pocket? Please give me a pocket. Please, pocket. I beg of you. There we go. Pocket. So, we have a General Braxton uh, and a Gigi Belloni, which is a very Italian name. So, these are numbers we will have to remember, hence why I'm like genuinely writing them down. <laughs> Like for fuck's sake! Like, again, I, I think I said this before. Like I like games that force me to like keep track of shit like this in a way because it's getting me involved. But like after an hour of like just keeping track of really banal shit is like you no stop. <laughs> you you pay attention for me instead, you know. Yeah, pretty much. That's just oh man. Um, I don't know what the red stars is supposed to represent. Maybe he's like a sergeant or something. Or he's from Chicago. I don't know. One can only assume. Uh, Gigi Baloney, three stars. Fucking hell. Mm. Maybe that's his booty call. Like his, his actual black book. It's like, these are the people I fucked. I gave him three stars. <laughs> General Braxton, you're next. You're going to get three starred. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Westland way. <sighs> Which is presumably what it calls it. <laughs> oh, what, what do we have in the drawer? It's a card. That's nice. That's a loose change, which we'll need. You know, don't like, you don't make a place look as in ransacked, you know. One thing I will say about this game: good music, nice and atmospheric. It was one of the first ones to have, well, 
one of the early adopters for uh, sound card support. Yes. And like, Which, boy, way, does it like, if anybody's listening in, it's like, yeah, sound card support was often optional on games. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back when you had to buy like a, a separate sound card for games, like not yes. just a graphics card, you also needed your sound blaster. Oh, um, I, I miss my sound blaster. 16 yeah. X baby, get in there. Funnily enough, actually, the sound blaster, the main labs are actually just down the road from here. Really? Yeah, in a uh, plenty ah. here, yeah. That's nice. I like that. Nice little touch. I go past Ooh. their offices. It's still got the huge, big sound blaster sign at the front of it. Nice. I know it. Love it. So we're gonna buy a we're gonna buy a piece of paper. <gasps> the Cold War is beginning to heat up. That headline's never been used before. That is a very Arabic name. You're absolutely right. Yeah. In Tunisia, no less. That's in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, that makes no sense. What is this sorcery? Oh, so an ambassador has been kidnapped and shit. Yes, again, this is almost certainly not the plot that will happen in just five minutes' time. <laughs> I think our leave's going to be cancelled. Oh, I think so. The writing's on the wall. Well, not that wall, obviously. That's a sign. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's just made two steps into the room. Yep, there you have it. That's what's getting called in. The, get, give me the message. <laughs> this is what confused me. It's just like, um, wait, did are you the one give me the message? <laughs> it's just like shaking them going like, where is General Braxton? Let me proceed in the game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You two are toying with me now. So let's we, let's we try this one more time. There we go. You could have just said that. You didn't have to just like make me get that message. Just, like, just call General Braxton. Yeah, all right. I can do that. Easy. This could, this could have been clearer. <laughs> language barrier. It's a language barrier. I understand. I totally understand. Language barrier. Yes. Two people speaking English to each other. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it's English through like a Sierra translation. You know, it's just like get message. Oh, yeah. So, yes. Hence why we got our black books and now we can actually call. Oh, fucking. She's at it again. Get, I don't know. The, the right bit. Get the fuck. <laughs> I know the pandemic's really getting to me here, but I literally just like when I was playing this, I stopped halfway and was an up oh, social distancing. Like go yoga ahead. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, why would you do mask, that? put on mask? <laughs> uh, I, I did actually correct myself in the boardwalk there because I was convinced I was gonna fall in and drown. This is what Sierra does to your mind. Like it just makes you so risk adverse in everything you do. This is why people get OCD and don't walk in cracks in the pavement because of Sierra. <laughs> I'm convinced. I'm fucking convinced. Let's call him. Let's call the general. You see, foolish me forgot to add the hyphens. Because as we all know, hyphens very important on phones. There we have it. Have you forgotten what game you were playing? Yes. Fucking yes, idiot. I have. I was trying to enjoy it, Neil. That was my mistake. Yeah, exactly. You actually, to be honest, yeah, fuck about your mistake trying to enjoy it, see every game. You <laughs> fucking idiot. You have no, you have absolutely no sympathy off me now. You can piss right off. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us here on Sierra Quest. Is uh, the quest for hope? <laughs> there is going to be a point in this in this series where we're just going to go. Oh shit, that game was really good. It's like, yeah, it was good. We do now. I, I don't know. I somehow I, doubt it. I really yeah. fucking doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> fairness, yeah. In fairness. So, um, we are going to then uh, call ourselves a dinghy. No singy dinghy transport, which is a clever pun. Ooh. So, this is us there. getting off Tahiti altogether. 
and uh, proceeding with our mission. A mission to do Navy things. <laughs> now coming the Smooth Jazz Remix from your friends here at Sierra Club. Nice. <laughs> 